All right. Oh. I finished another session of doing exercise here uh, uh, outside, you know. Uh, I was asked this question as to... Wait, what the fuck is this? I was asked the question as to why is it that I do exercise in the afternoon? Like right now, it is around uh, 1.30 or something. 1.30, 1.35. So why is it that I exercise in the afternoon? Why not in the morning when it's cool? Or why not in the evening when it's, you know, better? Now, see, um, first, the default answer is simple. The reason why I don't exercise in the morning is because you know, I'm not a morning person. Whenever I get up, I do exercise. And the reason I don't exercise in the evening is because I stay in a forest. In the, <laughs> in the evening, all kinds of wildlife, you know, start walking outside. And plus, it's not, day, it's not safe because there is no lighting and, you know, cars drive like crazy. Even if it's dark here, some people drive even without headlights, some people drive drunk. Okay. And yes, snakes and dogs and this and that. And... But even if I was a morning person, even if I was an evening person, I still would prefer to exercise in the afternoon. That's my preference. Now, the reason for this is because um, through my years of training, I've trained for a half marathon, I've trained for cycling, I've trained for uh, swimming, I've trained for triathlon. Okay, uh, and uh, when we used to train, my coach, he was a proper professional Olympic coach, he had trained me in the afternoons. And that also, he had trained me in the afternoons on the sandy beach of Dubai. Now, just let this sink in. One is I'm training in the afternoon, second one I'm training in Dubai, where the temperatures go up to 48 to 50 degrees. Huh? Yeah, if you have never experienced 50 degrees heat, I suggest you look into it. It is so hot people can die, okay? 50 degrees is not a joke. 50 degrees is when you go into the desert, you can... In some cases they've shown a road, uh, the tarmac, you put an egg, it's, it, it slowly starts to cook. It is that hot, okay? So that is 50 degrees. And then on top of that, you're talking of the beach where the sand, it's soft, it goes down. He used to make me exercise and run on the sand and he used to make me run uh, in water that was up to the height of the knee. Now, the reason he used to make me do that is because uh, when you run in the sand, uh, there is uh, less impact on your joints. And the other thing is, it is tough, it is not easy. The third one is, you have to lift your leg if you have to run. And if you know anything of biomechanics and uh, physiology, when you run, uh, you have to lift your leg. If you lift your leg higher, you can move further. You know, rather than running this way, if you lift your leg, each stride, you move further. And the final reason why he used to make me or make us run in the afternoon heat is the body becomes strong. See, especially when you're doing a triathlon or when you're doing a full day event, uh, by the time, let's say triathlon, first is swimming, then is cycling, then is running. Normally an event like this would start at eight o'clock or nine. So one hour it would take for uh, swimming, uh, nine to 10, 10 to 11 would be cycling, one hour. And then 11 to 12, or around 12-ish is where you'll be running. That means you'll be running in the heat. And even if you are talking of a cold country, uh, your body, if it can withstand heat, it can withstand any weather. Unless, of course, it's super chill. Now, granted, there are no events happening in uh, the Middle East in the summer because it's too hot. It's absolutely too hot. People can die, huh? that is not exercising, just going out you can die. 
it's so hot that you go out in seconds you'll start sweating you'll be drenched so given the training that i received of running in the heat i decided to stick with that and it has really worked wonders in fact you might think i'm crazy if i tell you this i used to run barefoot not joking barefoot without shoes i ran barefoot for i think 3 years or so until my soles became strong oh initially uh, and uh, i didn't just start running barefoot initially when i would run slow run 10 meters or 20 meters and i'd be limping because i was pretty fat and my legs were not used to it and my logical reasoning for that was people in the village do not have shoes people in the village have just they walk barefoot how is it they're so strong so i was like i need to strengthen and you know the foot has so many bones and cartilage and you know when you walk naturally the it strengthens all the joints it strengthens all the uh, nerve endings and muscles but please don't do any exercise without any medical supervision huh? you can literally crack the bones in your joints uh, in your feet if you're not careful it took me around uh, i think 6 months to get used to walking slow run and the highest i've done barefoot is 48 kilometers 48 it took me in and around i think 12 hours slow running walking 48 kilometers from i started from saja kanatal kasba till burjal arab i crossed it it took me a long time i was eating walking drinking talking slow running uh i don't know where i put the video uh, i think i uploaded it live on facebook i wish i had put it on youtube so anyway that was one experience so now coming to why do i do it here here the temperature is around uh, 35 to 40 degrees it's not too hot okay 35 to 40 degrees it's sunny you can feel the heat like you know like when you put on the gas or the fire you can feel the heat uh but it's not that bad it's not like oh like heat like for example if i was at the beach and the heat is coming from the sand and from up it would be slightly more difficult here a little bit of cool wind comes once a while and um, i am able to last around 40 minutes of running slow then um, around 3 to 4 hours of walking like this so overall you could say 3 to 4 hours is my maximum stamina of being in uh, the heat okay now what are the benefits of this uh, this i'm just giving off my head i do not have any scientific claims of this uh this is just my gut feeling i can be wrong okay number one is yes vitamin d being exposed to the sun okay that is one the second one is the body develops uh, resistance okay initially oh be careful huh? i'm telling you don't don't this all of us and say oh loy did it i'll also do it no you it has taken me years of getting used to it it takes time it takes time be careful you can be dehydrated you can fall down literally you can die Uh, and dehydration is the biggest thing ah huh? be careful so you have to drink plenty of fluids so first one is vitamin d the second one is resistance the body becomes stronger the third one is it uh, it kind of disciplines your mind physical discipline mental discipline you know there are times where i'm just like oh man i can't do it like ah uh, uh, i go like this way <laughs> it just pushes you now you know i'm i'm walking uphill okay i'm walking uphill this may not show but <laughs> but it is it is tiring it is exhausting this is going uphill towards like a mountainous slope so it's really exhausting and uh, but the reason why i do it is it strengthens the body it strengthens the muscle it's like if i were to tell you to do push ups and you never done push ups uh, it's going to be hard on you next one is also helps me think clearly while talking controlling my breath and exercising so that itself is an art not many people can do that so it gives me clarity to think under pressure especially physical duress as to practice this when i was uh, into competitive public speaking as to exercise while practicing and rehearsing my speech so that is to help me you know control my heart rate when you're nervous your heart rate goes up when you drink very strong espresso coffee your heart rate goes up when you are uh, afraid your heart rate goes up so if you can think clearly when your heart rate is going up you can really do it 
एंड आई थिंक अपार्ट फ्रॉम अदर बेनिफिट्स लाइक ब्लड सर्कुलेशन एंड स्वेटिंग एंड यू नो इट जस्ट हेल्प्स अनदर थिंग विच यूल अनदर बेनिफिट इज यू नो वेन द रेज ऑफ द सन हिट यू सो हार्ड दिस लॉट ऑफ डेड स्किन इट डाइज ऑफ सो दिस अ कॉन्स्टेंट सर्कुलेशन ऑफ स्वेट एंड डेड स्किन एंड ऑल दैट एंड इट्स लाइक माई बॉडी इज शेडिंग एंड गेटिंग न्यू यू नो एंड द लास्ट रीजन वाई डू दिस इज बिकॉज द होल डे एम सिटिंग एट होम एंड बिहाइंड अ कीबोर्ड एंड माउस एंड सिटिंग ऑन अ चेयर आई नीड टू हैव सम काइंड ऑफ फिजिकल एक्टिविटी अदरवाइज यू मे नॉट नो यू मे नॉट नो दिस बट योर बॉडी विल स्लोली डिटेरेट देन यू विल बी नथिंग बट अ ब्रेन सिटिंग ऑन अ यूजलेस लाइफलेस फिजिकल बॉडी एंड इवेंचुअली इफ द बॉडी डाइज योर ब्रेन डाइज so keeping myself physically active not only helps me be sharp stay sharp stay healthy it also helps me in thinking and uh, being very competitive so these are the reasons i exercise in the afternoon and i like it i enjoy it i like the tough kind of heat you know and one thing uh, but here's the irony even though i even though i do exercise with heat in the sun i don't uh, have bath in hot water <laughs> uh, many people like to have bath in hot water because it you can scrub and you get a good foam and all that i made it a discipline to have bath in cold water right even if it's uh, winter whatever and i made me my wife my baby all used to cold water i have uh, disconnected the heater system in my toilet the reason for this is when you put cold water your body uh there is a claim that the body heals faster with cold water that's why you know athletes submerge themselves in ice cold baths i like ice cold baths it's torturous but it's amazing man oh it makes you feel like a million dollars that's why in cold countries these people who uh stay in uh, ice cold water in the pool or not in the pool in a pond or something it's freezing temperatures and they go up to here uh they tend to be i don't know they just feel much better even this chiro therapy or something you stand in a machine that shoots like cold vapor but here once again i'll caution you if you're not used to it don't do it suddenly you can literally develop a, a you know respiratory and uh, other diseases so just don't do it be very careful these are not uh, things to joke about I have experimented with different things like from uh, ayurvedic oil massage hot oil massage um thigh massage and all that and I would just say that if you are curious to try all these things try but under medical supervision do not try anything without medical supervision and uh, it's always an experience you know so for me my body is the only thing i have that carries my brain it's like uh, uh i'm seated here and this is like a machine that i'm moving like a car you know <laughs> so i have to take care of the car so this is my logic in terms of why do i exercise in the heat of the afternoon thankfully today it's cool yesterday oof i got dehydrated and exhausted i tried one video and i was, uh, and then i went back uh, home uh, i drive back with my scooter the reason i come here is there's less noise there's a forest those uh, uh those these insects make that loud noise so i went uh, cicadia or cricket or whatever i went home drank a little bit of water had an orange uh you know orange and a little bit of watermelon came back did another video for i think 30 minutes again i was like ah i'm tired went back put cold water ate a little watermelon allowed my heart rate to come down came back again by the time they did the third video i was like ah. I was literally having cold sweat so I knew that I couldn't do it anymore. So I went home had a cold shower and then after food I was like a completely like a zombie went to sleep because I really pushed my body. So yeah this is what it is let me know your thoughts and like I told you please don't do any kind of exercise without medical supervision because uh you know you might think you're invincible you can think that you know everything. but the body you know takes time to handle it so this is what i wanted to share with you 
Ah, it's a little cool now. You can see. A bit cool, not bad. So let me know your thoughts. Okay. Whew. All right. Nice, no? Looks good. This one looks good. Or this one looks good. See here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. You guys take care. Say any questions. Put them down below. And your comments. It's me signing off. Ciao.